Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you can hear me. If it's not, it's because it's a snow day. I'm trapped in my home house, well, in the property. <laughs> but I was thinking, why not? I got to make a balloon. So I'm gonna make a balloon for you guys. Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. This is a video I'm trying to make it and I hope I can show it today, the same day I'm making this video. It is Saturday morning and it is a snow day. So as you saw in the video at the beginning, it is a snow day. So I'm trapped in my house and that's good for you because I'm gonna be able to make a balloon tutorial. <laughs> but let's do this. It's a red hat. It can be any color, but this type of hat, I think it's gonna be really cool to think that it's more elegant. And we're gonna use the technique about waving. But how to make a waving design maybe easier or faster if you just wanna do kind of like not that much because this is not gonna be a top hat, it's gonna be shorter. How to do that? And uh, what I think, you know, it's to grab a round balloon. If you have a maniki head, great. If it's not, you can always grab a quick link. It will be easier. Let's see if I have one right here. Uh, if it's not, I'm sure I have one somewhere out there. If you don't have a quick link, imagine that. Don't worry. You just grab a balloon and you just blow it like me. <laughs> <laughs> and because this is kind of pretend to be a head, right? So inflate it approximately this way. You know, almost all the way. This is a 12 inch, 11 inch round. So you inflate it almost this way and then you lose some air to make it soft and squishable and grab one of your racing beads, okay? And just put it inside. I think it's gonna be easier this way. So you put it in there. So this is gonna be kind of the size of my head, a size of a regular head. Um, Okay, so you tie it. If you wanna save this, you tie it, but halfway, then you can reuse it. And then grab the raising beam from all the way this part. It may be tricky, it may be hard because the balloon is almost all the way inflated. You can always lose some air, of course, but we're trying to con uh, grab that little sink and it might be really complicated because if it's kinda taking time to me, and I feel like I'm an expert already doing this, <laughs> Uh, there's another way and I'm gonna show you that is you can put the raisin bean from the outside and grab it but I did it it will take a moment you can always lose mo some more air and this is gonna be more squishable soft easy to grab that raisin bean if you have a quick link again good for you because this is gonna be much easier you just grab a balloon scrap and you already create your side of a choose um what is this quick link balloon, right? Or link balloon. Now you can tie it actually thinking, perf um, you can lose some air, add it more, but I'm gonna just from here tie it. You know why? Because we're gonna use this balloon all the time while we are doing this part, the wave. So imagine this is the head, we're gonna start from here, going all the way down to here approximately. Okay, that's the biggest, wider size of the balloon. And so to make it, you know, we already, and this is something cool because we already did this technique with seven balloons. Let's do it, I mean, with six balloons. So let's do it with eight balloons. If you have one six, it's gonna look even better because the skinnier looks like more elaborated than waving. But if you have to 60, let's go and tie two to 60. In this case, it's gonna be red. Okay, two to 60 red balloon, inflated like eight or nine finger tail, okay? So you have to do this four times, right? I think so, because we're gonna do it with eight to make it look more elaborated. And now I'm using the same color because this technique, we already did it with different colors. So in order you can see that what I'm doing here. I'm gonna blow one more. Eight or nine finger tail. Okay, and tied it. So we have four pairs, eight balloons to 60 red. Okay, that's what we have. Um, then you just, um, I'm gonna be back here. I hope you can hear to listen to me because I don't have my, my microphone. <laughs> so now you just grab this and bend it. Look, I'm keeping a distance. You, you all twist it together, it's all crazy. 
and you can start making two pinch twists, one on top and one on the bottom. So you just make one finger bubble, pinch twist with any balloon of this red, whatever is more easy for you. So make sure when you do that, you keep something like this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist this so you have something like this. It may be hard because there are eight balloons, okay? So you have this. This is kind of helping you to keep things more stable on top. You don't have to, but I think it's gonna be easier if you add a pinch twist in the front and a pinch twist in the back. So the back is gonna look exactly the same. Now, from here, what you can start doing is you can grab your balloon, that's the head, and you attach it right in there. With the pinch twist on the bottom, that's totally fine. Attach it there, pass it around a couple times, we are later are gonna cut this piece, this connection, and the purple balloon is gonna be gone, okay? So you have this, and make sure you put it all plain. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look, okay? All plain there. Now we're gonna start doing the waving by following kind of this shape of that purple balloon. How? I'm gonna be this way so you can see, and I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible because this is the trick. The base, you better do it correctly then the rest is gonna be going uh, bigger and bigger, you know, so play with that. You just gonna make a small bubble and each one is gonna have a small bubble. But every time you have this and this, you make sure another small bubbles go to this one. So you make something like this. So this is the correct. So one balloon is gonna have one bubble, the other one two. But as soon as you make this the first time, then the rest is gonna be one bubble each. Now you wanna follow with this one, one ba bubble, so everything looks better, you see? Bubble, bubble. Let's keep going. Bubble, and the new balloon, and the next one is this one, let me see. This is hard to show you, and here. Okay, so yeah, we are here. Let me see, wait a minute, not that one. Oh, okay, I, I really wanna do this good. But it's a little bit hard to show you. So we are here. I'm gonna go back again, everything. Yeah, so, because sometimes that's what is important about a tutorial, to take our time. You have this, put it the way you want it to stay. So trying to kind of like keep it the way you want it to be when it's already twist like this, right? So let's just start. You just wanna grab one balloon, make a bubble, and then you wanna make another bubble. So these bubbles are two finger long, okay? So one balloon is gonna have the first one, always two bubbles, and then the next one you follow from here, the next one's gonna be this, keep the order, and now this second bubble from here is gonna go and twist here. One, two, three. Then this bubble, the new one, you're gonna make one finger bubble, I mean, two finger bubble, all two finger bubble. Let's keep it the same. And you make sure don't get them twist. And now the next one, this one's gonna be two finger bubble. If you bubbles came and twist, you always can twist it. And now these two are gonna twist together. One, two, and three. Now let's keep going. This one, two finger bubble. And now here, the new one, we're gonna make another two finger bubble and twist it together. Okay? and twist it well. One, two, and three. Now, you, the first one is gonna be harder, but you have to keep going. Now we're gonna grab a two finger bubble from here and a two finger bubble from the new one, okay? So, two finger bubble, and two finger bubble. Now, make, make, make sure you have a lot of space around you, so then you can, move the balloon easily. So you just twist. One, two, and three, I hope. Then keep going, we're almost there. We can do this. Just patient, two finger bubble. Another two finger bubble. Now, and twist it together. One, two, and three. Then two finger bubble. Oh. Good news, good news guys. If you think, oh Cecilia, the, bubble, the balloon 260, I mean 11 inch round, purple is complicated for me. 
things go. You can just go ahead and measure two finger bubble, two finger bubble without the balloon. And then you can be molding it to a head in later. But look, as soon as you get almost close to the last, you're gonna keep going. The same idea. One, two, and three. And then make sure the last balloon, this one, is gonna end with a two finger bubble and connect to here to here. Remember the two first two bubbles we make, we're gonna put it in between those two first bubbles we make. And how? You're gonna pass it through here, okay? Through there, all the way. So you can always grab the intersection so then it doesn't get a twist or, and pull, push, pull. Let's see what is more comfortable for you, but there we go. Now, and there we go now you have something like this turn it down now this is gonna start going a little bit bigger now the bubbles and it's gonna get easier okay but i like about this technique is then you look it looks all covered there's no holes in between that much looks awesome so we're gonna keep going and i like to use the balloon for me it's easier and i push my belly with this and you know, my belly and the balloon, the purple is still pushing. So that way I just keep going. Make two finger bubble, hold it. Another two finger bubble, the other balloon. But in between, always the first balloon that, could, that makes the start the line around, is gonna be two. Instead of one, it's two. Two, two bubbles of two finger bubble. Then you twist. Now, okay, I'm getting kind of like, this is the, the, the theory. Because the theory, sometimes you can make this better. You plan where you want your balloon. And look at this. For, a, I don't know, it's in, in theory, you will see the bubbles are gonna be expanding. The bubbles that are in between here are gonna be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, that's why you are going to make two finger bubbles first. And this one was two finger bubble. And this one is have to be a little bit bigger. So, consider it that the next second bubble that you're gonna make with the first balloon, it's gonna be a little bit bigger of two finger bubbles, a little bit slightly. Okay, so this is two and a half. Now you have two finger bubble and two and a half. Make sure now here is just two finger bubble, the next one, and twist it. One, two, and three. Now this coming balloon is gonna be again the same size as this one. Two and a half finger bubble. And make sure the next balloon. It's gonna be on just two finger bubble first, and then twist it one, two, and three, and then you're gonna grab this piece, two and a half finger bubble, and this one is gonna be just two finger bubble. I hope you understand. It may be a little bit tricky, but with practice, you're gonna be able to do it. One, two, and three. Then, let's keep going. You can also put the balloon on the table and you can see things better sometimes from the angle, like from here up, all the way down here. You can see this better. But give some pressure, so that way it follows the pattern, uh, it looks better. So two and a half. And then the next one, remember, is going to be two finger bubble. Um, and again, remember, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just try and do your best. Like, for example, here, I'm getting a little distracted and I see a little bit hole, which is fine. Things doesn't have to be perfect. One, two, and three. You're just trying to do your best. Okay? Two and a half finger bubble. And two finger bubble. So... Now from here to now, one, two, and three. So to don't make things that long, uh, the idea is just that. It's a lot of repeating. So two and a half, and two finger bubble, one, two, and three. It's a lot of repeating, but every time you start, it's just what you have to define how long you want that balloon in the middle, the bubbles. Okay, and that's pretty much what it is. And good thing, one, two, and three, is that you don't have to worry 
Now, uh, you don't have to worry to make this super long. It's not a top hat, it's gonna be shorter. So now from here, you have to connect this bubble all the way to this side. And whatever is, you know, good, you just keep it longer, it's fine. Sometimes things doesn't have to be perfect and you just do your best and connect it. So it's approximately three finger long, okay? And in your case, if it's longer, it's okay. So you just push, measure, three finger long approximately. Oh man, if that happened to you, it's okay. You have a balloon here, make sure you blow, or you have ready a couple more to 60s, inflate it like nine finger tail, and you just connect it and tie it from there. You see, you don't have to, I think it's the end of the world, because it's not the end of the world. This is just, balloon time and sometimes they pop because also I'm in my balloon room you know I have a lot of pointy things you know everywhere sometimes and we have to be careful with that make sure you have a space that is clear and clean okay so there we go look what I'm doing oh man I'm shaking them so I'm gonna show you how it looks so far okay so look we doesn't look like, but we are covering part of the balloon round already. So let's keep going. Another way you can always now put it this way and put this on a on a side that is what um your belly or your table, and then keep doing the waiting all around until you're approximately half or even shorter because you just want to cover this part with the hat, and the rest is gonna be the other the rest is gonna be more waving, but open you know to make this hat super cute fancy i think perfect for your event um and i think it's gonna be more for girls so let's keep going so i'm gonna do this and it can be easier but if it's not you can always do it the way you've been doing it and for me you look and feel comfortable this way so i just keep going two finger bubble two finger bubble the other balloon when you have that you can already have the idea it's gonna be longer so you're gonna measure approximately three or four finger long, one, two, three, and then keep going, okay? And keep going, keep going, be patient, take your time, do your best. So that's what I think I recommend you, okay? Now. maybe better I didn't just because you see sometimes it's like I, I want to do online videos that I can see you chatting your questions but then I can get distracted and I'm gonna be doing what I'm supposed to be doing so there we go um, but I saw your, your message and your comment uh, Tommy McNulty so I so yeah let's do this I hope you can see or watch this video on time. If it's not, this can be for a future event. So look how we're doing. Okay, we can go a little bit more because something I, you know, when you told me about the hat, I went to the red hat, you know, things. I don't know the name, but this, there is a picture. You can see the picture right now there. And so that's what I think. Oh yeah, this make this hat. So what I'm doing is just keep just growing the bubbles to make it look, you know. And at the end, usually for my head, for example, it's like when I use eight bubbles, you know, I mean six balloons, I use like six or seven long bubbles each of the six. But because it's, this is eight balloons to 60, so I'm gonna use approximately five, you know, long, the last bubbles, you know. So that's so you have an idea. The last bubbles on the line, on the bottom from here, is gonna be probably five finger long each to cover a regular head, okay? So when you're getting closer to that, you can start thinking, okay, um, you can double, you know, the size. You can start ma making again one more line of five finger long just so it covers, grab this area good. But with one, probably can be okay. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Now the last one, pass through in between. Make sure you have things locked and hold that intersection so then it doesn't get any twist. And look what we have. So you have the idea. You don't want to cover as a top hat too much. I think this is great. Maybe one more. And only because I want to make sure this is going to feel comfortable the person that is going to wear it. So this last bubble, look, we start with just two finger here, actually, right? Yeah, it was like two. Look at this. We start with just two finger, two and a half, or two fingers, then two and a half, you know, each side. Oh, wait a minute. And, okay, so look, two, and it's getting bigger, this longer. So make sure the first one, it's like two and a half, for example, or two. This one is gonna be uh, three or four, you know, you just get getting a little bit bigger. The last one, make sure it's gonna be five finger, approximately. So this is kind of four. Let's make another one with five, and that way we make sure, and then that's it. How many lines? Let's see. One, two, three, four. That's the last one, so let's go with five, I think. Um, I'm gonna put this here, you see, to make the pressure and then, then remember these bubbles, I told you two finger bubble, but one and a half or one, it's gonna make things better even, okay? It's just for teaching purpose, sometimes bigger bubbles is easier for you to see, but I think with two finger bubble, if it is exactly like this, like my finger's gonna be two finger bubble. If your fingers are bigger, maybe try what is one, one and a half finger bubble. This first bubble these bubbles are gonna go in this area okay let's keep going wow. then i'm gonna make sure five finger long now if the one balloon is shorter than the other one make sure uh you twist it three times each side one two three that way it's gonna be always the next balloon so here for example i was talking i got you know distracted and i'm using more of one balloon than the other one so you balance that and it's like okay this one let's make a rest and let's keep using this one that is long and it have tip, okay? So let's keep going. One finger bubble, five finger bubble, and finger bubble. When you do this, also you can be watching a movie or uh, watching videos on YouTube or listening listen to music, you know, whatever you think it's gonna be more comfortable. M make sure your hair doesn't get stuck in there. <laughs> okay, now here, one more, keep going. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Almost there. So this is gonna be good enough, okay? Okay, when you have this, I think it's gonna be the perfect size, you know, to just be here, covering this part of your cranius. <laughs> now it's all waving coming out. And how to do a fun waving? That's what we're gonna do now. If you have enough with this, good. If it's not, you can always grab another balloon, inflate it, this time, like three finger tail, four finger tail, okay? And we're gonna connect it all the way around, but there's gonna be something that changes. Look at the balloons, how we're gonna put it. This way, up. Yeah, you can always attach pinch twist here. Yeah, a small pinch twist, you know, here. That way, it can help more this to stay like this. But, it can be also the pressure from the next bubbles that is going to keep this up. So you don't have to make the pinch twist unless you want it, okay? So when you are here, you can grab one finger bubble, okay? And then grab your other balloon, inflate it like four finger tail. And when you are in a hurry sometimes, what you can do is also 
from here, tie this straight to what is here. You pull, you pass it around, lock them, and you can just leave it like that. It's not gonna get untwist if you cue, it's not gonna get untied if you twist it very well done. Trust me. Okay? Now you're just gonna go like um what is this? Like the you know um what are you gonna go? Exactly around, let's go exactly from here all the way to the next balloon, you know, but on top of this bubble that we did at the end, the five finger long. So whatever is this, from here to here, you just pass it on top. So you just make one finger bubble with the next one and just pass it on top. You want there to keep a little bit of pressure, that way, it's gonna look better. Now let's keep going. Now let's do this, okay? Um, wait a minute, I lost a new balloon. It's somewhere. Oh, it, which one? I don't know. Uh, am I doing it? I don't know. <laughs> I know, but the idea is you have that new balloon to go all the way around. And you're going to have enough. So let's keep going. See, all the way around. And make sure you keep going with the same balloon you've been using. Okay? And let's keep going. If it's getting tired, well, you're almost there, so you're gonna have enough, okay? So there we go. With that balloon you just use, um, you cut it, and then you pass it around and tie it, okay? So, now, you have something like this. Look how it start opening, and then, to make it more, you know, like that waving, you know, it's like one side. You decide you can put one more layer or you can start, um, how could we do? To make it, you know, more shape. Like for example, you can define which one you want to be the front. I decide this one's gonna be the front. So from here, I can start just adding the balloons like this to the next bubble. You see, you decide this is going to be the front. So to make it, you know, to make one finger bubble, you just, you don't make a bubble here. You just go all the way to the one finger bubble you made with this one. And that's going to give it a little more of uh, shape, you know, to go one side longer than the front, you know. So, but it's up to you. So then here, for example, you decide you want to make a bubble too, or to just don't make a bubble and keep it like just close to the balloon. It's up to you, you know, it's uh, how you know you want the design. For example, here I just go straight to the next one. You can, if you want to make a bubble, but you can just keep it like this. What I did here instead of, uh, this one, it didn't make any bubble, right? I just went straight to the one bubble that I made here. Then I go to here and you don't have to make a bubble. And then the next one, you will have to you make a bubble. So you just kind of like make something more fun, if you want to call that way. Now make sure you use the balloon that you have long enough, okay? How long are those bubbles? As long as you can reach from here to the other side, okay? Now, you already make a bubble here, so that means this one, I'm not gonna make a bubble. Just only to make it fun. That's my whole point on this. And then you just make a bubble with this one, one finger bubble, and that way you go all the way to them, pass around, then you use the longer balloon always. Then here, if you make a bubble in the last one, you're not gonna make a bubble in that one and go all around and make sure you use the balloon that you think is gonna be better. It's gonna be here now. You can make a one finger bubble all the way around. All the way, so it's the same, it's the waving and we're going back to the center. And it doesn't have any bubble. So you're just gonna go and twist it all the way to the now, let's see how things are looking. I'm gonna pass it through, okay? And you have something like this. So, now it's getting bigger from this part. And the front is looking like this. Now, you can always make this even bigger, you know? And more waving, how? 
I'm so excited to see how you can make it more. I want more wavy. Because it seems like the people that wear this hat, you know, they have big size. These sizes are bigger. You can always, and it's going to take more balloons, but uh, this technique is going to help you if you want to make dresses too. How to make that part more folding, like what is the word? B bending, you know? Um, you can always grab another balloon. In each balloon that you see a connection, you grab another one. You put another one, another one, another one. That's gonna open more that area and it's gonna go more, it's flamboyant, the word. Now that's gonna take more balloons and I so <laughs> cheap to wear balloons. Um, maybe if I save this hat, I can wear it for Monday, but today's Saturday, so I'm gonna do it anyways, just because I wanna show you what I'm talking about. And it's already a long video. You can always fast forward. And you don't need much. Look, if you want to say balloon, you cut it in half, but it's okay, I guess. You see, I'm going to do on Monday a cutting the hat party. And I'm thinking maybe because it's red, I can use it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm inflating again eight balloons. Yeah. I know. It's not a balloon, but if you want to make something like, oh, everybody gets super outstanding, like, wow, this is amazing. You have to do it. Okay? So take your time. Inflate all the balloons, so you will need lots of balloons. How many balloons so far? Eight plus, plus five, plus eight. It's... Imagine ocho por tres. ¿Cuánto es? 32. Like 34, 50 balloons approximately. Yeah. Because balloons may pop, so, you know. One, two, yeah. Imagine like this hat is going to be like 50 balloons, better scenario, or worse scenario, I mean. So you have six, and let's go with two more. You know, I, I, <laughs> maybe this is a good therapy, too. It's okay, Cecilia. It's just balloons. Don't cry that you're using too many balloons. <laughs> I don't know if this happened to you. I'm like that, like, ah, oh, it's making me so hard to think I'm using more balloons, but it's okay. I know it's good to, you know, use more balloons. It's good. Now, each side, you're gonna have a balloon. So you just pass it in between. Now, here, you can always put a pinch twist here. If you think, you know, it's gonna get, you know, all shaking, but you don't have to. So I'm not gonna do it. Okay, this is another way uh, to make wavings uh, really cool and awesome and fun. So that's what I'm doing in each intersection and adding another balloon. And some I'm getting too short, but it's okay. You know, it's okay. Just grab a, a back of a hundred balloons <laughs> and have fun, okay? <laughs> comment what do you think about this design i hope you understand sometimes you know designs might be too elaborated too taking forever this is something that oh in a tutorial is kind of boring to make it but i'm sure if you are want to learn just watching these videos can give you some you know tips in between you know while i'm twisting balloons i just sometimes have these moments that oh let's give you a tip uh, a good advice you know, and I don't know, always have to look for the positive side of things. Okay, let's see. Now, when you have each side like this, two balloons, two balloons, two balloons, now you can again start a waving like this. One finger bubble, and this one is gonna open to this one. So you're gonna make like one or two finger bubbles if you want, but one finger bubble is gonna be okay. And open it as much as you can that doesn't get too uh, ugly. So that's gonna be like three finger long, okay? Three finger long. So you have things. Things are gonna get into maybe a, a step over here. So I recommend to make a pinch twist in each side. One here, one here too, if you want, but I don't. So I'm just gonna go this way, okay? Now you can use your chin, you can use your arm. Whatever you prefer, I'm gonna do the same. But from here, you grab one finger bubble and then go all the way, as much as you can, you know, like this. So look, like this one was approximately three or four, this one is three or four, or 
slightly longer, but you don't want to force that much the balloon, but just to keep the shape open and spreading a little bit. Okay, so there you go. Now, when you are here, now you okay, one finger bubble and spread as much as you can without and you see, and then let's keep going with this one finger bubble and spreading as much as you can there, and then one finger bubble and spreading in between. The, the okay, so you can make this wave super long, but also you if you want to put it to somewhere that it's not, not used to wear hats, you know, balloon hats. <laughs> So don't make it too uncomfortable. Maybe not that big or, see? Let's see what happens uh, while I'm finishing this side. <sighs> I know, I know. Things doesn't have to be perfect. We always try to do our best. And from everything we make, we are learning, okay? so. Just enjoying the moment. Uh, even myself, I feel like, okay, it's learning, you know, how to make these tutorials much easier for you, but I'm going to show you as much as I can. Um, and as soon as I can. <laughs> okay, look, we're getting closer. And the thing is, waiting is not that hard and it's not take that much time if you are faster with your twisting. So this can help you to practice your twisting, practice your finger, you know, your techniques. Uh, it's all about how much time do you have. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like this and pass it and close it. So look how I end up. And this is something I wanna share with you because I want you to see that some things in the practice it's like, you see more, more like this, so. so we start with, supposed to be, you know, one finger bow, one finger bow, but here one is longer. This one is starting with like four, but the next one's gonna be longer. And then the next one is shorter, and this one longer. And the next, the last one, it was much longer, but it's okay. Now, I like it how it's looking. I'm gonna just end all this with Pinch twist. Now, again, you can make this waving part, this side, even longer, of course. But it's now up to you how long you want. I recommend you for comfortable for the person that is gonna wear it, keep it this long. Okay, no more than probably three more layers coming out from the hat already we made. Now I'm gonna end this with a pinch twist. Okay, in each side, pinch twist. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm gonna end, uh, end this already with a ray. So I'm going faster, but what I'm doing is just ending. And this one, for example, doesn't have any more space. I recommend you make a bubble, take the air out and just make the pinch twist. You know, take the air out, make the pinch twist and keep going. It's like a one finger bubble pinch twist, okay? If you think, also see the start bending, start losing the shape, it will, you're gonna fix it in a moment. You will see, okay? It's balloons, balloons are very flexible. You can fix it, I'm moving usually out of my spot, so I don't know if I'm filming correctly, but I hope so. Now, you may pinch this all around, then you're gonna just cut. Cut, save this balloon scrap. It's gonna be useful for other occasions. Um, pass it around, each one. So, I'm not really editing much as what you can see. Right now, I'm not cutting the video in process. When I make a mistake, you will see it. <laughs> because it's sometimes much easier for me you know, this way. But of course, I'm gonna take a picture and be part, you know, the design somewhere in a place where you can see it. It's just to make this balloon sometimes I occupy much, much of the space of the camera uh, where I'm supposed to be, you know, filming. And 
I hope you you like it. Um, I hope you enjoy this type of hat. Again, it's the waving. It's all about the waving. It's all about that. And this is all a complete red hat. But of course, you can always add the extra torch. What can be an extra torch? You can just grab a 160 balloon and use it as a ribbon. Or you can use a, a ribbon. Uh, a real ribbon. <laughs> you know, and just pass it around. I'm going to show you uh, where, but it can be any color you want to, uh, you know, represent a brand, a, a, a fundraiser, an event. It can be, and the picture I think is purple. So you can go with purple, with golden, with white, with pink, any color ribbon. And it's going to look pretty in black. <laughs> and, and I think it's going to look pretty. It's going to look classy don't you think okay this is what we have now make sure you have you hide all the teeth um and and look what happened because i've been manipulating too much the balloon it's like women this part and look it doesn't look that bad you see you let the balloon feel the way it feels or you bend it away you know, you want it more to be looking and you just play. Some places you want it to be more bent, the other ones more straight. It's sad to you and you can always make a cool shape. I like it. Now, let's try it. Now it's moment of the practice, right? This is all the theory, look beautiful, cool, awesome, amazing. Now, let's disconnect the round balloon and you will see, it's easy. You just cut there the tip. Um, I'm gonna use my scissors. Oh, but very careful because that's not gonna be very sad if I pop it. So I'm gonna use my super safety scissors. Thanks to Pearl for these super safety scissors. No point part, they're perfect. Let's do the hand. I'm gonna shoot at you. Bam. Oh, well, no, maybe not. <laughs> Ta -da -da -da. Look. Wow, let's wear it and see. I'm gonna take my hair out so that way it's gonna look like this. And I'm gonna put my seat lower. And I'm gonna wear it. Look how awesome hat. Now, this is a cool part, the ribbon, right? A, a, a real ribbon, or if you wanna be all balloon, you just grab a purple 160 and make a ribbon. Something like this. I'm looking for my purple. Oh my goodness. Well, sadly, we don't have much balloons, you know, um, availability and all the colors I wish. But this is a Deco Max 160. If you have darker, I think it's going to look better. Okay. So um, let's see what happens. And this is kind of sometimes that the Deco Max 160 is a too thick. And that's what I don't like. But you can always lose, the, lose some air, make it long and skinny, stretching it better and the idea is you just maybe bend this piece the beginning something like this well you can do that in a moment <laughs> how long you want that it's okay you can bend it and then you make a little pinch twist and now make sure this is so much skinny and you're gonna just pass it around around like this <gasps> so cool <laughs> and then you the rest you just Closer. I'm going to make some pressure, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my legs and let's put this up. I'm going to put my legs here, and so I'm going to go and push all the way down. So from the pinch twist from here, okay, you hold it, make some pressure all the way down. So this can be come on, balloon, cooperate, 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 hold it, <laughs> push all the way down and squish and pass this around okay while it's squishing so it's kind of like i'm holding to all the way the base down okay all the way down and give it some pressure look i'm bringing the balloon up and give it some pressure into the idea that you want this to be as you know it's fully shift and it keep that shape so now the rest you cannot bend it that's what i'm doing 
And again, things doesn't have to be perfect, but we try to do our best. Look at this. You can put this as the front, simple, long, squishy, and this you want to do. Now, if you want to secure more things, glue dots. Yeah, you can put some glue dots uh, with the purple and the red, but as long as down as you can. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. And you can always glue dots if you want. Now, I'm gonna wear it again, this angle. Let's see how it looks. Ta -da -da -da. You can put it one side, you can put it all the way there, and it fits perfect to the head. And even you, you can always kind of find where is the perfect spot. I like, for example, here. Some angles are different, so you can fit, oh, this angle hold more my head. So you can just keep it like this. Look, the purple doesn't look that much, but there it is. And this is an extra touch, don't you think? Well, I hope you like it. Please tell me in the comments what do you think. And good luck. Look, this is all about practice. Don't feel bad if you feel like it's not exactly the way I'm doing it. Take your time. You can make it even better. It's all about, you know, patience, time. Have fun. It took me approximately 45 minutes to make it in front of your eyes. So now you have the idea. And I'm sure it's a special hat. Okay? So... Thank you again all of you for watching this video um please don't forget on the description of all my videos you can find ideas how to collaborate with this channel how look my shell you can always send something to decorate my shell i have my shamrocks but i don't have yet the batteries i had to find three batteries double a in order to turn on my shamrocks that have lights are really cool um what else the dollar store i went and i bought this one dollar why i do this I get this because St. Patrick is coming and it can be a part of an outfit on your hat, any hat, you know, like for example, you can make all in, in green or black and this can be around your hat. It can make a detail. You can always add this is light and they have for different things depending which time you go to the dollar store. I have also for Valentine, uh, for Dia de los Muertos and this is the other one I got uh what else um yes so in the description please my amazon wish list it will be very well appreciated anything you can get from there it will be collaborating with this channel because it will send directly to my address and also it can help you that amazon wish list to have ideas what awesome things you can find on amazon um what else is in there my paypal account my bedmo account you can always donate money i try to save and that money and or get a cup of coffee or or get something like uh, more balloons like you know more balloon equipment anything you know but i'm also always very happy with all of you following this channel if you haven't subscribed yet do it because that helps a lot your comments your likes your sharing so thank you and have a wonderful day i i want to see if i found pictures of your designs that you made uh because you learn it on this channel i'm gonna check instagram and facebook and if I see something, I will post it right after this video. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao. Hey, don't forget, it is official now. I'm going to be teaching at Bling Bling Jam, the virtual balloon convention Bling Bling Jam on March 21st, 22nd and 23rd. I don't know exactly the exact time, but there's going to be um, lots of balloon twisters, you know, giving balloon classes of course, uh, but I'm so happy. I'm gonna be one of those teachers. For the first time, I'm gonna be teaching at a balloon convention, which is, wow, so cool, right? So I just wanna let you know, you should go and be part of this balloon convention because the design and the technique I'm gonna be teaching, it's something that I haven't teach yet in any of my videos on my YouTube channel because it have to be something special. So it's a way uh, that you're gonna be learning and kind of like a technique that you can repeat and make it for different designs, okay? So that's gonna be the cool part. And I think you're gonna enjoy it a lot. Don't forget, March. So the good thing is you can always go to the website and you will find all the information. It's going to be March 21st, 22nd and 23rd, this year, 2022. So uh, get there, you know, and and enjoy it. And now, at this moment, enjoy the tutorial <laughs> that I'm going to show you right now.